With the sun out, many here in Norfolk have started to make the most of the new slightly eased lockdown measures. The government has started to relax some of its rules, so people can now go visit beaches and parks as long as they socially distance. The next plan is to start reopening schools in a few weeks' time, and today government ministers insisted it was safe to do so. The key thing is uh, that we can make these workplaces safe. You can never eliminate risk, but as we know, as we've heard, um, it, it is the case that it's extremely unlikely um, that uh, any school is likely to be the source of a, a, a COVID outbreak. Okay. Um, and, and if for any reason uh, uh, there are risks, then we can take steps to mitigate them. The current plans are for certain year groups to return to school on June 1st. Some teaching unions are concerned this is too soon and that it's not safe for staff or students. Amir Awan's father died of COVID-19. He is a parent in Birmingham and will not be sending his children back to school before the summer holidays. I have lost someone who's very dear to me, uh, and not just to myself, but to, to the whole community of Birmingham, because my father was a community man. Um, but, you know, we've lost other people in our community. Now, why don't we just wait? What's, what's the urgency of sending the kids back to school and having that second spike? Because there will inevitably be another spike. Why take that risk? Councils in Liverpool and Hartlepool have said they won't be following the government's advice. They argue it is too soon to be opening schools. As regional differences in the response to the pandemic emerge, there have been accusations of a London-centric approach to easing the lockdown measures. I'm not seeking to, as I say, undermine uh, the government's message nationally, but I am asking people to, to think about the particular level of risk uh, here and to tend towards the cautious side of things. The conversations and debate about the best time and way to ease more of these lockdown measures will inevitably continue, but the government will hope that some consensus can be formed soon.